EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the Washington Commanders. The veteran Joey Sly is set to get us started, and we are underway in our nation's capital. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Ready! On the ball, on the ball! Singletary to get the drive started. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They go right back to Singletary. And this will be a Texans first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Eluding the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure. And it's second down. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Stroud out of the gun here. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. First and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at about the 32. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And that is very well done there, as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Well, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Stroud, he's going to audible to something else. Panther 11, Panther 11. Second and 11. 
Sliding out of the pocket. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to... not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Stroud backed up near his goal line. He'll buy some time right. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. On is the punter, Johnston, now as he sends this one away. That's pulled in at the 32. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. Gibson here running out of the gun. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Here's a second and five. Here's Hal. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And McLaurin going to pick up a commander's first down as he'll get this down to the 36. It'll be a gain of six that time as he moves the chains as well. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And Hal will throw it. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Hal, another throw on second down. Open man is Samuel, complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Throwing here, Howell. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. Howell looking to throw again. This is caught. And the commanders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Two. Here's first and goal. Now Hal. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Sam Howell taking it in from two yards out. And the Commanders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled, and wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. Joey Sly, Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Stroud. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. In motion right, that's Dell. They'll fake the jet sweep, and now Stroud to throw off play action. That's caught again by Schultz. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. A give, Singletary, right side. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and three. Here's Stroud. Short throw into the hands of Jordan. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. They'll give this to Singletary running right. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Stroud looking to throw. Being chased out left. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Now Stroud. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down. And he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Stroud wants to change it up with an audible. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. Any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I know a coach told me before, he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. They'll get just a couple, but the sticks move again. First down now, but the clock continues to move. First down, And they'll go play action here with Stroud. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Second down and three. Throwing now is Stroud. Taken down at the two-yard line. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Singletary is into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. One last shot before the break. Howell taking a shot for Samuel. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former first-rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Texans are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. Welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, the first half very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Al now to throw it. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Here's King. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Texans will take over. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? And a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Stroud's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll run on first down with Singletary. 64 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Stroud looking to change the play. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Third quarter, all 
tied up. This is second and ten. Now they'll audible to something else. Cut my key! Cut my key! Stroud now on second down. He'll get this to Devin Singletary out of the backfield. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Now here's Stroud on third down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. Now a throw here to his running back, and he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. This is second and eight. Powell. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Powell, he'll look to throw it. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Here we go, Jack. On the counter, this is Singletary. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Right back to Singletary on second down. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Change things up. Stroud will throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Woods. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 13-yard line. First down, Seven Seven Stroud out of the gun here. Flushed out right. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down. So he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Who can I be? Play action. Here's Stroud. And right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, and we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Stroud on third down now. Touchdown, Texans! 
Dalton Schultz, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Texans have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And he's got it. It's now a 14 7 ball game. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And they get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Well, Howell's going to mix it up here. On first down, right back to Gibson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And now they're in the hurry up. Steven Nelson on the On second down, a run with Gibson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now looks like they'll move things around here. Now throwing on first down here. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays up in quick succession if they can. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Here's Howell. Targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads them into the end zone. They come up now on second and two. Back to the ground with Gibson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. They'll run with Gibson. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. Well, he bit the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. How the throw. And he is in for the two. I still can't believe they went for it, but they've got themselves a lead here late in the ball game. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's first and ten. Dragon 60! 
Now Stroud. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted.